Well, for years, doctors have told mothers to be to knock off the smoking, the alcohol, the coffee, even the cheese. That's right. Well, that stuff is child's play next to the toxic chemicals that one study says pregnant women are carrying around flame retardant, even rocket fuel. Come on, how can that be? <laughs> Let's uh, take a closer look. Dr. Manny Alvarez, Senior Managing Editor for Fox News Channel. He's also a member of our terrific medical aid team. Doctor, always great to see you. All right, uh, you buy this? Well, you know, look, to a point I do. Uh, we've been saying for years, of course, that more and more people are getting exposed to toxic chemicals, and indeed that is the truth. Uh, this is a small study, but it's by the CDC, 260-something patients pregnant, looking at about 167 different chemicals, including things like PCB and, uh, and biphenol A and hydrocarbons and things of this sort, all of which are incredibly toxic, uh, almost 100%, by the way, 100%, right. almost almost 100% uh, they were found. So the caveat here is that indeed we are definitely getting exposed to a lot of stuff, right. for sure. Um, what does that mean vis-a-vis uh, -vis pregnancy? Well, we don't know yet. We have to remember that we have uh, rates of autism that are out of control. Uh, you know, one out of 150 uh, children uh, have autism, uh, learning disabilities. Uh, we're seeing pockets around the country of miscarriage rates sometimes that are unexplainable. So uh, we don't know uh, directly what the, the findings really mean, but we have to say to ourselves something needs to be done. Mm -hmm. And I think that this is a wake up call. Well, you know, the CDC was very alarmed by the fact that they found almost 100 percent exposure of these deadly chemicals in women and I think that what you're going to see is uh, sort of uh, you know pay attention if you will uh, to what you are getting exposed to uh, because right. at the end of the day these toxic chemicals could be very you know they could have long-term health effects for for pregnant women but do you think it's primarily what a woman is putting into her body, or is it really an environmental factor with, with the changing environment? Well, if, you know, look, if you look at the, some of the, for instance, uh, some of the chemicals, they're mostly found in things like cookware. You know, again, if you are not paying attention to your cookware, you're buying cheap things from, got for, you know, from China, let's say, dollar store, makeup, all of that kind of stuff. Ultimately, there's no manufacturing control. Um, you know, beauty products is a perfect example. Yeah. There's a lot of beauty products that are, get mass produced. People buy them. They have nice colors, nice odor. Uh, a lot of people do it. They're trying to save money. But these things are being manufactured in a lot of places outside the United States. They're coming to our shores. And listen, uh, things are getting, you know, uh, are getting out of hand. And what happens is these chemicals tend to build up. It's not like, oh, okay, you got exposed to some of these mm -hmm. biphenol A's and they go away. They don't go away. They, you know, they get stored in our bodies. And ultimately, you know, we have to pay attention to, to your health and what happens long-term cancer rates and things of the sort. Dr. Manny Alvarez. See, this is um, why I don't use any hair products. Yeah, it's a great idea. No hairspray no hair for you. For me. No shampoo. <laughs> Dr. Manny. Thanks very much. Thanks very much.